Hello everybody, uh, my name is uh, Adam Kubiak and uh, today I want to present you WB2000 uh, Sawmill. It will be actually a second uh, WB2000 presentation, uh, but this time you have a chance to see WB2000 Sawmill in a real environment. You can hear that noise which, which, is, which I think you are familiar uh, with. We are at Mr. Nowakowski, Mr. Michał Nowakowski Sawmill near Warsaw in Poland. First of all, uh, I want to thank you, Mr. Nowakowski, for allowing us to conduct the presentation at his uh, place with using his machines, uh, his uh, sawmill. Uh, Mr. Nowakowski uh, is two WB2000 owner. Uh, first one he bought in 2019 and the second one uh, two years later in 2021. And the presentation which will be uh, conducted today will be done on a second newer WB2000. Uh, before we go to the first section of presentation, just a few words of introduction uh, about me. I think some of you already had the chance to contact or meet physically me. I joined Udmeister in 1999, so this year is already almost 23 years in Udmeister. At first, 12 years, I was work, working as a mechanical engineer. After, uh, after 12 years, I was promoted, promoted to uh, engineering manager position. And then five years, later, uh, five years ago, I was promoted again and my current uh, position is industrial sales uh, manager. I also want to mention that today's presentation will be recorded and you will be able to open it, to see it, visiting our website www.woodmeiser.pl. The presentation also will be avail available on our uh, YouTube uh, channel. Uh, today's presentation will be divided into two sections. During the first section, I will try to present all basic WB2000 parameters and features. And second part of the presentation uh, will be a cutting process. So, so you have a chance to see the machine working in a real environment. For now, I would like to invite you for a short intro and I will come back in a few seconds. Thank you. Uh, hello again, welcome everybody after a short uh, intro. Before we go to the first section, uh, I want to inform you that uh, up to now we uh, produced and installed 91 WB2000 machines and next machines are also planned in production process. For now, on average, we produce two WB2000 sawmills per month. The first machine was produced and installed in 2015, that, that was uh, December. Okay, let's start, let's go to the, our main topic, to the machine presentation. I suggest to, to start the presentation with describing all features of the, of the machine's head. I think I will ask our camera operator just to come closer and also I will ask to move the head a little bit lower. Okay, the operator moved the head, is moving the head down. And maybe let's open the covers. So I will ask for support just to open the cover on the other side. Okay, the covers are opened and right now we have good visibility, good access to the blade. And first thing I want to focus today is blade and the blade wheels. As you can see, the blade wheels iron cast, diameter of blade wheels is 800 millimeters. When we specify the machine, when we initiate contact with, with the customer, 
one of the questions which we ask at the beginning is what kind of blade the customer is going to use. WB2000 head is prepared for three types of blades, three widths of blades for 50 millimeters, 75 and 100. And here I want to uh, underline one thing. If we decide to go with 50 or 75 millimeters blade, those will be able to service, to sharpen, to set with using standard wood miser equipment. So we can use popular BMS 600 sharpener or BMT 250 or 300 setter. But if we decide to go with 100 millimeter blades, 100 millimeter blades is entry level of wide blade technology. The process operation is much more complicated than standard blades. 100 mm wide blade is recommended for operators who are experienced with wide blade technology. The process is a little bit different, it's more complicated. You are able to gain more than using standard, standard blades. Standard I mean 50 or 20 or 75, but you need to be experienced and, and you need to have proper equipment. If you are not experienced in that area, our strong recommendation will be 75 or 50. Up to now, I think I don't if I say 80% uh, of all machines which we built uh, up to now were equipped with a 75 millimeters wide blade and that blade is installed on our machine uh, here. So one of the first thing I want to uh, pay attention on is what kind of blade the customer is going to use. Then based on that we are able to equip the machine with proper proper wheels. The wheels doesn't affect the, the price of the machine. So all what we need to do is just to replace the wheels. Also to some modification in block guides are required. Uh, but also next important information which I want to underline if anybody decides to start with for example 75 and in time want to switch to 50 millimeters still it's possible so all what we need to do in that situation is just to replace the set wheels and do some modification uh, with uh, blade guides okay right here we can see we have felts which are physically oiled and the other side we are not able to see it properly there are scrapers so those those components are just for cleaning and oiling the wheels and those components are located on both sides on the back side of the machine we have only only do, dosage device by which we can control how much oil is delivered to wheels i will show that device when we will be on the back side uh, of the uh, sawmill additionally with using standard lube miser uh, system we lubricate the blade you can see i think you can see that the hose here that hose is the role of it is just to uh, deliver detergent the water to uh, for, for the blade. So again, during the wind, during the summer time, we can we can use detergent, so water and soap. During the winter time, also diesel diesel is uh, possible. In that area here, that is the place for debarker, which is uh, optional equipment here. Here I want to underline that Mr. Novakowski doesn't use uh, debarker, and honestly, he didn't specify the debarker when we uh, try to uh, define the machine and the reason for that is Mr. Novakowski uses his external debarker and all logs which are transported which are delivered to for WB2000 process are already fully debarked and you, you can see I will ask operator just to show a few logs which are already loaded on, on, on the log loading deck you can see all logs are with no bark on it so that is why we don't have debarker here but debarker debarker is available and it's optional equipment like laser which you can see right here the laser is also optional but highly recommended device by which we are able to easier control position uh, the head okay maybe let's move to the back side uh, of the head and what we've got here uh, that device here is manual uh, oil uh, pump we use it just to tension the uh, blade the pump is also equipped with uh, oil accumulator and the role of the 
the device <coughs> here is to keep the blade tension on right level. Sometimes there is a situation when we process the lock, when we cut the lock, we enter harder structure. For example, hard node is somewhere inside the lock. We see bigger load. We can notice bigger load on electric motor. Uh, and then sometimes there is a situation that the blade on the back side is getting loose. The role of that oil accumulator is just to compensate that loose. So with that oil accumulator, we are able to cut more precisely. The cutting accuracy is much higher. Optionally, we can equip the machine with electric uh, pump. I think that information is not revealed, is not showed in our brochures and price list, but that, that device is already available. It's again optional equipment. So instead of using manual pump, we can install here electric pump. The electric pump is activated directly from the operator uh, panel. And that device is already available. So again, when we, when we are interested, when you ask us to prepare any proposal, one of the questions which we definitely ask is the blade tensioning system, standard or optional with uh, electric uh, pump. Also right here, we have sticker. I would like to cameraman just to point the camera here. We've recommended a tensioning uh, value for three and four, four inch blade, blade. And now our recommendation is strongly recommend do not exceed those, those recommended value. Sometimes we know that operators have tendency when the blade is not cutting straight just to over tension the blade. In that situation, when we see that something wrong is going on with the cutting process, it means that the wheels are not set properly or the blade must be replaced. So please don't over tension the blade because this could affect both the blade life, also could affect the head durability. Please, uh, please stick to recommended uh, tension, tensioning volume. Okay, what we have more? When I mentioned about uh, oiling the wheels, I will ask our cameraman just to point the camera into that aluminum device which is in the middle section of the head. And on both sides you can see kind of small inspection window. With that window we can monitor and adjust uh, oil droppage or oil dosage. Our recommendation is two up to three oil dosage, dosage oil drops per uh, five uh, seconds. So that is the place where we can adjust how the blade wheels should be properly oiled. On the left side here, we have main electric motor. Okay, the, I think operator, camera operator is pointing his camera right there. Main motors. We have two main, uh, two uh, available uh, choices. Standard 30 uh, kW and optional 37 and a half uh, kW and again I think 70-75% of the machines which we built, which we produced so, so far were equipped with stronger electric motor 37 kW and that is also our strong recommendation. When I'm talking, when I'm talking about electric motors it's good to mention that electric motor uh, could be uh, controlled by an uh, altivar. So it means Altivar can control and we can adjust with it linear blade speed. With Altivar we are able to adjust linear blade speed from 18 to 32 meters per uh, second. That option is recommended when we have situation where we process both hardwood and softwood, especially very hard species of wood. Then version with uh, Altivar is highly uh, recommended. If there is no Altivar, then we have two, let's say, mechanical available possibilities. If dominant species, species of wood we are going to process our hardwood, then we lower linear blade speed. We prepare correct set of uh, pulleys. And with that set of pulleys for hardwood, our recommendation is around 22 meters per uh, second blade speed. If dominant species of wood we process are softwood, then we slightly increase linear blade speed. Uh, standard for softwood is 26 uh, meters per uh, minute. 
So honestly, all together we have three available options. 22 or 26 is just me mechanical option and also uh, Altivar. With Altivar we are able to adjust near blade speed from 18 up to 32. And also important information, Altivar could be added only during the production process. So if you, if you decide or if you want your machine to be equipped with Altivar, Altivar must be specified at the early stage. There is no physical possibility to the add to equip machine with Altivar, to equip with Altivar existing Sony. So Altivar only could be added during the uh, production uh, process. Okay, what more? Uh, up down, up down gearbox. I will, okay, the cameraman is pointing his camera to up down, up down gearbox. Uh, we decided to go with North Helical Bevel gearbox, very high efficiency, it's about 97 and half, 98 uh, percent. Uh, electric motor power is 2.2 kW, and uh, so, and the power is associated with uh, high efficiency. Uh, why we decided to go with that unit? That unit, that gearbox, the drive, is controlled by program which is very similar to programs which which people use controlling elevators. It means when we want to position the head on some certain height, we want to start processing, cutting process, the head is position, positioned and stopped by Altivar. And Altivar is controlled by a PLC, by the program. And when the, position, the head is physically position, positioned, then the brake is, is engaged. It means the brake doesn't physically stop the head, so no heat, no friction is generated. The role of the uh, brake on electric motor is just to keep the head on the right position after positioning it. So uh, this, this means we have very efficient, durable, long-lasting uh, device. Up here we have two uh, drives for power feed. Both drives are located on both uh, sides of the sawmill. Why we decided to go with two drives? Again, heavy bed, big head, uh, drives located on both sides give us more stability. The, the head is more stable, we are able to move the head much faster. So for example, if we want to cut and we want to return the head, Maximum, maximum speed on returning stroke is up to 100 meters and everything is controlled also by uh, PLC and even if we move the head back with that speed there is no fear that the head physically hit the bumpers uh, because PLC controller is able to control position of the head so when the head is approaching the bumpers in proper time the head is physically slowed down. Uh, for in cutting stroke, maximum feed speed is up to, uh, as far as I, if I am correct, uh, 60 meters per uh, minute. Okay, I think regarding the head, there are all those are the major uh, functions. Maybe let's, right now I will try to close the covers. I will also ask operator just to help me to close the cover on the other side. Okay, one, one thing, as we are still on the back side of the sawmill, here we have two cameras. I will ask the operator just to point the camera to that area uh, here. Uh, WB2000, as a standard equipment, is equipped with two uh, cameras. Uh, but a uh, video recorder is prepared for four cameras, so optionally we can add two, cam two cameras as well. So two cameras goes, goes as a standard, Optionally, we can equip machines with additional two cameras, so altogether we have uh, four, uh, four uh, cameras. Okay, I think right now let's focus on, uh, on the bed and its equipment. The bed, as you see, very heavy duty construction, based, built based on two uh, C beams. The C beam size is 400 millimeter. All Cross sections are modular, repeatable. Role of it was just to get 
flexible uh, bed. Why we want to, wanted to have flexible bed? As I mentioned, up to now we built 91 sawmills, and to be honest, every sawmill is a little bit different. The bed is made this way that it allows us to configure the hydraulic uh, location in a very flexible uh, way. Anytime when customers are asking us to prepare WB2000 proposal, one of the basic question or first question we ask is uh, specification of log lengths. What is the minimum log length, maximum log length, and everything is what is in between, and also dominant. Then based on that specification, we are able to prepare a hydraulic configuration. And hyd hydraulic, regarding hydraulic configuration, in our brochures and price list, we, you will find a lot of information about standard hydraulic configuration, but reality is a little bit uh, different. When we collect information, in most cases, we prepare machine based on the data which we collect from the custom, customer. So the bed, big advantage of, the, of that bed is big flexibility. The cutting length, here we have two standards. We have S bed, so short version, and M bed, medium version. With short version, in standard, we are able to cut logs up to four and a half meters long. With embed medium version, is three, medium version is three meters longer. So maximum cutting length is seven and a half meters long. Minimum length, log length we are able to cut here is 1.2 uh, uh, meters. And again, based on collected data, if there is any customer who want to have very flexible machine, if you want to process logs from 1.2 up to let's say five or six meters, then based on the data we can we can freely configure the hydraulic. For example, here, let's focus on one of the major hydraulic component, a main clamp. Here we have one central main clamp, but when we have situation, or right now operator move that clamp up and, and down, you also try to move it in and out, okay? Here, because of cutting loss, one main clamp is uh, enough, it's sufficient. But if there is a situation that additional main clamp is needed, then we, we also could prepare that uh, configuration. So again, if you want to cut, for example, here, three and 1.2 meters log, then the second main clamp probably will be located somewhere in that second uh, section uh, here. Remaining hydraulic equipment. As you see, vertical side supports, which, which are located in, in a cross section of the bed, and honestly, every cross section would be equipped with uh, vertical uh, side uh, supports. Then, uh, chain turners, chain turners just for positioning, for uh, turning the, the lock. As you see, we can move them at the same time, we can move them separately, and then we can, we can position, we can manipulate the lock. And the same situation, we, we could have two, we could have three and also in a different location based on the data, data collected from the customer. Power rollers, here on that machine we have three power rollers. The first one is located here, second and third. The role of power rollers is just after loading the lock, to position the lock properly on the bed so it corresponds correctly with a hydraulic equipment. We can also level the lock just for initial cut. Also, when we have, when we want to remove what we already cut, we have last cant left on the machine, heavy cant, then with uh, power rollers we can easily remove that cant. This you will be able to see on the second part of the presentation when we try to present the machine in cutting uh, process. Addos additionally, the machine uh, could be equipped with uh, pull-down clamps. Uh, that machine is not equipped with that because uh, Mr. Nowakowski mostly cuts relatively short logs. Pull-down clamps are mostly rec recommended when we cut relatively long logs. So when we start processing the log, when we remove boards after boards, when we release the stress, sometimes log has tendency to deform. Then with pull-down clamps, we can grab that log at the far end and press it against the bed. So physical possibility to add pull-down clamps, 
the machine which we present here is not equipped with that equipment, but you will find information about pull down, pull down clamps in our brochures and uh, price list. A hydraulic pump. Hydraulic pump is physically located somewhere behind uh, the operator stand. It's not visible from uh, that perspective. Standard. Standard hydraulic pump is 7.5 uh, kW. Uh, what is uh, 11 uh, horsepower and oil flow is 27 liters per minute. Uh, optionally, we can equip the machine with stronger uh, hydraulic pump with 11 kW, what is 15 uh, horsepower, and oil flow up to around 50 uh, liters per uh, minute. So two, two possibilities, standard 7.5 kW, 27 liters per minute, optional, stronger, 11 kW, 11 kilowatts, 50 uh, horse, uh, 50 liters per minute uh, oil uh, flow. Okay, right now I will ask operator just to move, move the head a little bit forward and let's let's focus on the uh, back side of the machine. Okay, operator right now is initiating the he is low just to move the head, he's manipulating with hydraulic. Okay, right now the head moves forward. Here we, we have conveyor which helps to remove cans or boards which we uh, already uh, cut. Right here we have also kind of roller which dump the heat. That roller is especially useful when we cut relatively big logs and we want to remove it just to relieve the heat, just dump the heat. This, this roller helps with that. And that is kind of, let's say, standard equipment. Optionally, we, kept, we can equip WB2000 with different type of conveyor. We call it head tracking conveyor. I don't remember exactly whether head tracking conveyor is already shown in our price list and brochures, but that head tracking conveyor is already available. What is the role of it? We recommend head tracking conveyor for customers who cut relatively big logs in diameter and hardwood. And then, when we start, when we open the cut, the head is relatively high, we remove what we already had, cut, the significant height, just to relieve, release, relieve the heat with head tracking co conveyor. Head tracking conveyor is adjusted more or less to the, to the blade position. So the transition from the bed to remaining uh, handling equipment is very uh, smooth. So the head is always just, just 10, 15 centimeters below uh, the blade. Strong re recommendation for processing hardwood when the operators are cutting rela relatively big logs uh, in uh, diameter. Uh, okay, maybe now a few words about loading decks and all uh, option, options available. Maybe let's go to that area here. All uh, information about standard loading decks you will find in our brochures and price list. Uh, when I'm talking about standards, most of all I refer to the length. Here we have two standards, shorter version 3.6 meters and longer 6 meters. We, you will also find information about number of chains. We could have loading deck with two chains, with three chains. Uh, and those information you will find in the price list. Uh, but in reality, more and more often we manufacture uh, custom logs. So again, based on collected data, when customer is cutting wide range of logs and uh, the customer wants to be prepared for any scenario, wants to get a flexible machine, then we are able to add more chains. We are able to make the length different, we are able to change the height, we are able to uh, change the position of each uh, chain uh, strand. Also on the price list you will find information about new loading deck which we implemented to production I think last year uh, ago and that loading deck is equipped we call it 
heavy duty HD. And that loading deck, the difference standard loading deck versus heavy duty loading deck, heavy duty loading deck additionally is equipped with transporting chains on loading arms. Uh, this option is, option is also recommended for customers who process hardwood and big in diameter. Then with transporting chains on loading arms, the transition from the loading deck to the bed is very, very smooth. So we can, we can uh, uh, save, we can help uh, to transport the log physically from loading deck to, to uh, the machine uh, bed. So again, as I mentioned, all standard, standard information regarding loading decks you will find in our brochures and price list. If a custom loading deck is needed, then please contact our sales depart department. You can also co contact directly uh, me. Uh, please send us information what is needed based on collected data. I'm sure that we will be able to propose a loading deck which is meeting the customer uh, needs or expectations. Also worth mentioning is that recently we uh, prepare setups with two loading decks in a row. Uh, what is the characteristic of it. Sometimes we have situation that we, we are limited with space in a production hall and one long loading deck because again when we have long loading deck we have more buffer. We are able to keep more logs on the loading deck so we don't need to, act, to activate forklift so often. We are able to put two loading decks one behind the other. One short loading deck could be installed in the production hall and then we have buffer for two or three logs and then second much longer loading deck could be outside the production hall. That is very useful especially during the winter time where we want to save heat, temperature. Then what we do? We keep main buffer on the loading deck positioned outside. We have two or three logs inside. When we need to transfer logs from outside conveyor to inside, inside, inside conveyor, then we need to shortly open the doors, load two or three logs so that we need to open the doors just for a short period of time, then the, then the doors are again closed, we are able to save a heat. So this I gave you as a kind of example what we are able to do and what sometimes customer are deciding uh, for. Okay, maybe now a few words about the sorting tables, which are located on the far end of WB2000. I will ask our cameraman just to go to the back side of the machine. Uh, sorting tables. Sorting tables are also built in modular way. A length of single module is three meters. We are able to uh, bolt together modules. Maximum number of modules we are able to bolt together is three modules. Uh, so we get total length nine meters. Uh, we are also able to uh, multiply those uh, modules. So it means with uh, uh, sorting tables multiplication we are able to build kind of a sorting uh, system, sorting pockets. Uh, and then when we have sorting pockets, we could also add slides, which are the example of slides we have on that right, uh, right side, on my uh, right uh, side uh, here. With uh, slides, we are able to uh, transfer any board, any can to any dedicated plate, place, and then with using, uh, using forklift, we are able to uh, collect is, it easily. Regarding those uh, sorting tables. As a standard, our recommendation is sorting table, which you see here is electric with cross chains, which are equipped with, with pushers, with dogs. Optionally, we can equip sorting table with chains, which are moving up and down and are activated by a pneumatic or a hydraulic uh, system. Uh, here in simple version, our recommendation is, as you see here, simple electric, when we decide to go with hydraulic and pneumatic, mostly in situation when we want to collect boards, cans from more than one sawmill. We could have situation that we have two or three sawmills in the row 
and we want to collect material coming from more sawmills at the same time, then pneumatic or hydraulic version allows us to do it. Again, and again, if you are interested, if that idea could be interest, interested for, interesting for you, please contact us, please contact me. We collect all necessary data, and based on that, I think we should be able to uh, prepare you some uh, a proposal. Okay, besides sorting tables, what, what more? About slides I already mentioned, we also can equip our system with cross chains. Here we have green, green cross chain, which, which was physically built by uh, Mr. Uh, Novakowski. So that, is, that, that conveyor was not uh, Udmeiser equipment, but we have, we have uh, similar. And the same situation like with loading decks. Uh, in, in our brochures and price list, you will find all basic information about the length, about the width, about the height, capacity. But more and more often, we manufacture, we produce a custom-made base conveyors built based on customer requirements. So the height could be different, the length could be different, number of trains could be different. Uh, here we are prepared. Again, we see flexibility is getting more and more important and just, just to meet customer expectations, we must, to, me, we must be prepared for any uh, scenario. So except sorting table, except uh, cross chains or slides, we can also add some edges, we can add some multi-rips, a transition of cans or boards to multi-rip or edger could be manual, but also could be automatic. So it means we can build we are, we are adding, we are adding new modules, new components. We are uh, preparing the system more and more uh, cl complex. Then altogether, when we have multi rips when we have edges, when we have sorting tables, cross chains, also optimizing edger, altogether we could create nice technological uh, line. And the same situation like with loading decks, like, like with WB2000 bed. If you are interested, please uh, contact us. We collect all necessary data, and based on that, we do our best to prepare you the proposal which is meeting your uh, expectations. Okay, and right now, maybe let's focus on the control uh, side of the machine. Let's take a look on the operator cabin. Uh, operator cabin is uh, located in that uh, area. Here I want to mention that the cabin itself uh, was not built by Udmeiser. The cabin, the cabin was physically built by uh, Mr. Nowa Nowakowski employees, by Mr. Eric uh, Gołębiewski and Mr. Piotr uh, Gonsiorek. As, as you see, big, uh, heavy construction with isolated uh, walls also equipped with uh, uh, air conditioner. So the operator has good working condition both during the summer and winter uh, time. Thick isolated walls also isolate the operator from uh, outside noise and also uh, uh, save heat, save temperature. So it's very useful both for winter and for, for uh, summer time. Okay, let's go inside. So as I mentioned, right here we have a located a conditioner. In, Ud in Udmeiser uh, offer and brochures, you will also find uh, the cabin, but Udmeiser cabin is a little bit different. So again, that cabin was prepared by Mr. Novakowski employees, by Mr. Eric and by Mr. Piotr. As you see, operator is lo located on kind of elevation st stand, which is equipped with a seat, with joysticks and uh, two uh, screens. Right now, I will try to get somewhere in between the operator seat and the stand, and I will try to describe some major uh, functions of WB2000 uh, controls. Okay, the operator is located on the seat. Here on both sides, we can see joysticks, which are used just for controlling both the head functions and the bed functions. Here on the operator stand, on the operator touch screen, is 12 inch touch, touch screen. We have two uh, uh, lights. The first one head, it, it moves when, when the light head is activated. Then with using the, those joysticks, we are able to uh, manipulate the head. 
Maybe I will ask the operator right now as the head is uh, active, just to move the head a little bit up and down. And for operator right now is preparing the head just for moving up, as, as you can see. Okay, the head is goes down, and right now it, the head goes up. Here you have also some visuality. You can see those buttons located on joystick and preset uh, functions. And then maybe let's move the head a little bit backward and forward. Okay. As you see, right, right, jo right jo joystick and preset uh, functions. We can also manipulate. Uh, uh, blade guide roller or right now we have the operator switched to bed options and he can manipulate hydraulic uh, vertical side supports are in up position uh, power rollers right now are activated uh, uh, lock turners are activated so here just switching between head mode and the bed mode operator is able to uh, control all uh, WD2000 uh, functions. Right now, as you can see, blade guide uh, arm is uh, uh, controlled by uh, the operator. Okay, maybe a few words about the, the program which controls the, the head. Here we have three main modes. Uh, there is a ref mode, there is stack mode and there is a pattern mode. I will ask operator just to switch the screen to panel view. Just panel. Okay, right now we have we have panel and what information are shown here. The operator right now is in Polish language, but I want I want to mention we have few language uh, versions available. There is of course English, German, Russian, Czech Republic, and and. Uh, Spanish and a few uh, more. What information we have on main uh, panel? Here there is a current head position, so the position from the bed level to the blade. Here there is a position of the mass, so position from the bumper to the current mass position. Here that, uh, that arrow shows the main motor uh, power usage. Right now the machine is not working, so as you see, indicator is uh, on uh, zero. And here a preset uh, 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 linear uh, blade uh, speed. There are also some uh, more information like uh, what we've got here is uh, we can uh, activate here that uh, belt conveyor which is located on back side of the machine we can also activate the laser we can activate loop miser uh, directly from the touch screen so with touch screen there are many options uh, available and right now i will ask operator just to go to ref mode okay here as i mentioned we have two main uh, modes is ref mode and uh, stack mode. There's also pattern mode uh, used, but I think most of all we use those two, ref and stack. And when which mode is used? Ref mode we usually use when we initiate the cut. So we load the lock, we position it for initial cut, we clamp it, and then we position the head. To initiate the cut, when the head is already adjust to opening cut to first cut then we have available six standard thicknesses and right now we see the first board which will be physically cut is 30 millimeters uh, thick there is also of course possibility to uh, change uh, thickness if any other thickness is needed but standard thicknesses which we could choose on fly let's say we have six standard uh, thicknesses so again, we initiate the cut, we do one, two, three cuts, then we turn the lock, and when we want to cut the lock to the bottom, to the bed, then we choose another mode, it's called stuck, stuck mode, and right now operator is switching to stuck mode. And what we can do with stuck mode? 
here on that uh, right bottom corner you can see the program which, which is uh, actually uh, activated. Right now the bottom was 165 and all other boards were 30. But for example we want to change it. The bottom could be 100. First, let's say, first two counts we want to have to 100. The operator clicked on the bottom uh, row, uh, input 100, confirm that, and you see from the bottom to the top all counts are 100. But then, let's say, we want to have first to 100, but next to 50. Then the operator is clicking on the third one, is changing to 50, confirming this, and then you see first two are 100 and all other are 50. And then we have situation that next, so let's say from fifth level it, uh, up, we want to have 30, operator is pressing 30, and then, then our program is ready. We have four stacks uh, standard which we could preset earlier uh, but as you see there is if we need to change it we can change it on a fly so changing the pattern the cut, cutting pattern changing the stack is uh, very very uh, simple how it looks like in reality uh, we will try to uh, present you when we start the machine uh, cutting uh, process also what is worth mentioning and directly from the operator panel we are able to uh, control a uh, hydraulic pump and its uh, proportional uh, valve. So I, right now I will ask operator just to switch to a uh, proportional uh, valve uh, function. Okay. And what what we what we what we've got here? Here, again, it's Polish language, but all those information you will find in our uh, brochures and uh, manual. Uh, here we have all hydraulic equipment and preset oil flow. Here in that case we see that for every section is 100, but there is physical possibility uh, to limit uh, oil flow. So for example, if you want to, uh, for example, vertical side support. If we want to work them slower, then here, directly here, we are able to limit the oil flow. The operator here is using machine in a little bit a different way. Normally, the hydraulic runs with 100 oil flow, so in that case it's 27 liters per minute. But when we have situation that, for example, last left board is relatively Thin and the operator must be very gentle with uh, clamping it. He is able to uh, reduce oil flow almost on fly. So right, right now, here, right here, he reduced the oil flow to 20, 20 percent. So right now, again, he reduced it, but the oil flow physically will be reduced when the operator presses the pedal. So right before you, you could see how the clamp is working with normal flow. So that, that was normal flow, and right now, after pressing the pedal, the clamp is working with a 20% oil flow. So it's very easy to control when you preset it. All what, we, what, all what you need to do is just to preset, correct oil flow, and then uh, keep the foot uh, switch pressed. Okay, when we have chosen a cutting program, when we have uh, hydraulic uh, adjusted when we have lock on the lock loaded and position for a cutting then we can start physical a cut right now i will ask the operator just to come back to standard uh, panel and initiate we'll try to initiate a cutting process what options we do we have here if we have such a functions like bump up or automatic return or automatic automatic positioning system activated then we could start using an uh, automatic cutting uh, program. What does it mean? When we have lock loaded on the bed and we, uh, when, and we activate activating act, uh, automatic cutting program, all what we need to do is just to move the head and preset where is beginning of the lock and then move the head to the back side and preset where is back of the lock. After that, we are able to choose the program and we can start cutting in automatic way. So when we physically initiate automatic cutting, then the only operator role is just to keep a foot switch pressed and monitor uh, the uh, process. This you could uh, clearly see when we start uh, cutting uh, demonstration. 
other mode which we have available and also very popular uh, cruise with, with cruise mode activated we have to preset maximum power which we want to use and maximum feed speed and then on the base on the main electric motor load the machine the plc controller is controlling a feed speed so again we have the lock we start cutting the the cutting is smooth but then suddenly blade is approaching hard structure structure there's for example hard node inside the lock the load on the electric motor is getting higher the reaction of the plc is just to slow down the power feed so then the operator doesn't need to control uh, the power feed, the power feed is controlled uh, directly by uh, PLC. We have also a possibility to uh, uh, do diagnostic of, of controlling machine. We have, we have a, a errors, a history available. There are also many other options, but here because we are limited with a present, a time presentation, I want to focus only on the basic uh, functions. Okay, I think for now, oh, maybe one, one more thing. On the right side, we have touch screen where we can, could preset and also partly control the cutting process. On the left side, we have a, a camera view. We have screen with camera view, and as you see, we have uh, four uh, cameras. And those two pictures, the left top and left bottom are from the cameras which I showed you when we were describing the head uh, functions and position of those cameras is obligatory so one of the camera must uh, point to the blade and the second one must point to, to behind of the head and that is a safety requirements that is CE requirements and here we see the operator has two additional cameras, one installed on the top, so he has clear view on the sorting table. Uh, and the second one we could see, we, we could partly see the WB2000 uh, mast and, uh, and the bed. Okay, I think that is all, let's say, from uh, uh, regarding describing the machine and uh, its uh, features and the parameters and I think we are ready with uh, a cutting demonstration. So right now I will ask operator to, to load the log and meantime I will try to explain what, what, the, oper what the operator is doing in every particular uh, time. Okay, so right now we are in bed mode. The operator is loading the log. The log is against the vertical side supports. Right now the turners are activated, so the, the operator is manipulating the log, is setting the, it for initial cut. Okay, and right now main clamp. Also with power rollers, he is able to level the log for, for initial cut, just to get as high recovery as uh, possible. The log here is oak log, it's hardwood, debarred, as you see. Okay, and right now operator is pos positioning the uh, head for initial cut. Uh, RF mode is already chosen. 30, mm 30 millimeters board is highlighted. Okay, and operator is ready for initial kite, uh, cut. Uh, loop miser is already activated. And the cutting process is started. So that's initial cut. And every next board, if operator will leave current mode, will be with 30 mm thick. Okay, opening cut. And right now, automatic positioning head. So, current board which we cut will be with 30 mm, it will be 30 mm thick. Operator added more water to the loop miser, and as you can see, when operator in time, operator preset where is the beginning and end, end of the lock, and as you can see, operator only keeps the foot switch pressed and he monitors the process. So right now he is using automatic cutting mode with earlier chosen red program. Okay, and right now we cut second 30 millimeter stick board.
Okay, the head is up, and the operator will be repositioning the log. Sometimes when the lot is irregular, experience is needed just to manipulate the lot in an efficient way. Side supports are lowered, main clamp is activated. Okay, and right now operator already changed to stack mode, so as I explained you earlier. With stack, our reference point is our bed position. And, and as we can see here, the bottom count will be 165 and every next board will be 30 millimeters. And right now operator is positioning the head again for initial cut. After confirming it, the head will be positioned so every board before we get to 165mm count is 30mm thick. Okay, and second, second board, 13 meters thick. So as we can see now, it will be this and next two boards will be 30 millimeters thick and last count, which will be, it will be left, left on the bed, will be with 100, 165. A sorting table for board operator decided to move them to the right side. The operator is also using another option. There is possibility to adjust blade entrance speed. So that is another option which I didn't describe, but that option is also available. Okay, and right now I think we the last 30 millimeters thick board. So the arrow here it points to the next cut, so it doesn't show current board, it shows what next will be cut or left on the bed, because in that situation 165 current will be left. Okay, last board is removed. The operator moves the head up and right now the main clamp will be disactivated, power rollers, uh, side supports are up and power rollers are removing the count to sorting table and the count will be removed to the left side. Okay, and right now next load will be loaded. Also as you, as you see from the operator panel, operator, operator is able to control uh, also cross conveyors. Next oak load is load is already on the bed and the same situation. Positioning the load for initial cut. Ref mode is already chosen and first cut. So here operator decides where he wants to initiate the count because there is no any side of the leg open yet. So that is operator role to decide where to start. Opening cup, slab is removed. Here both slabs and bolts are uh, moved to the right side. You can also remove slab side straight, for example, to the cheaper or to, to any basket where all slabs are collected. It is all, again, functionality of sorting system. First 30, 30 millimeters thick board. And 
right now operator switch to stack mode is repositioning the log so right now we have one side open so we have the base uh, for next breakdown uh, process and with stack mode which is which is already chosen we can uh, initiate automatic automatic cut so again that is beginning of the log we need to do opening cut just to preset where is the end of the log Thirty millimeter stick board. And right now, done. Okay, you see, it, it, it has some unexpected situation. Slap was relatively light. But this this happened. And push back fingers, just grab them. And, and we have next, next, last 13 meter speed board as you see, operator is using automatic cutting mode. Bump up, the board is removed, and all what is left is 165 tick count, which will be removed by uh, power rollers. The clamp, the clamp is disactivated, side supports are in top position, and with power rollers, we can smoothly move the, move the count to sorting table, and then the count is moved to the left side. Okay, so we are after cutting process. I will ask operator just to let me go out. Thank you, Mr. Eric. Okay, so that was the, we just finished second uh, section of uh, our uh, presentation, the cutting demonstration. As you see, the demonstration was with no any, uh, surprises. I would like to thank you for your uh, participation. I also want to mention that the presentations which we prepared earlier are very popular. We registered many uh, openings and we want to promise you just to continue with that way of presenting both current and also future uh, products. We also want to encour encourage you to visit our website where you could find a lot of information about the uh, current activity of Woodmiser, about uh, uh, new uh, shows or presentations or the machine demonstrations which we are going to organize in your future. You will find a lot of uh, technical advice and tips uh, there. We also want to encourage you just to visit and su subscribe our YouTube uh, channels. We also want to mention that besides sawmills and lines, blades, Woodmiser is also providing the blade service. We have also e-store, e-shop open where you can buy online such equipment like blades, accessories, uh, spare parts, machines from woodworking group and also small uh, sawmills. You also have direct contact to uh, us, calling us. You can uh, contact directly our sales department, also service. You can also, when you, if you are interested uh, to prepare for you and a proposal project, you can also contact directly uh, me. Uh, thank you for, thank you for watching and again, see you in your future. Thank you.